We've got Tom McGuire to Tigers head coach Dale Hooper. He's got a busy schedule, so we're trying to fit him in. Yeah, I'm they've sorry. Got, no, that's okay. Uh, they've got a pep rally over in the Tiger pit coming up. Yes, we do. All we right. do. Right here pretty soon, actually. So yeah. Well, let's get right into it. Uh, you know, I it, it's one of those things where you know you don't want to take away from Los Lunas because they played a great game last yeah, week. Yeah. Um, but you guys definitely feel if you have that fourth quarter, you can come oh, back I, and get the win. With, uh, without a question. I think anyone there has seen that. We start, we were dominating that second half. Um, we just didn't have enough time to, to get her done. Uh, we uh, The only thing we did wrong, I think, in that second half was we uh, got that penalty and put us in a long situation. We ended up punting that first first series, and then we came out in the second series and just and drove the field pretty easy and scored, and then I think that would have probably been the rest of the case. I You never know. You, know, you just hope that. But I think that I mean, they—that's uh, what we do offensively. You know, we we get a lot of reps, and and uh, they were dar- starting to show their fatigue. And when they're, especially when their their studs are trying to go both ways nonstop, you know, at least we have our we have our key players doing that. But at least we have a little bit of rotation there, trying to keep some kids fresh because we know we got to win that fourth quarter. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to that fourth quarter, and it 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 was a hard loss. I thought special teams, you know, that was some area we, we improved on. And trust me, we worked special teams a lot this week, and we're going to work special teams again tonight. And uh, we're not going to we're not going to make those mistakes again. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, the onside kick definitely hurt. That hurt not just not getting in the end zone right there at the end of the first half. Oh man, that, one that one, yeah, that was just that was a tough one. That uh, no question about it. And. I, I hate to even get into that why and why and why, but yeah, I'll put that one on myself. I thought there's a lot of things. I thought Kyle got in on film. He looks like he's in by a good half a yard on the play right before that. And I don't even know how he got to the goal, uh, even to the line, because they were in our backfield. And that's what I seen going into that last play. I seen that their defense had penetrated our old line, and, and um, they were pretty talented there. And I don't know how, I don't even know how he got any yards, but he definitely passed the goal line, I thought. And the problem is the clock should have stopped. And that would have been, uh, you know, about 15 seconds right there. And and then I had a timeout, so I could have used – and it wasn't it wasn't the time wasn't my problem. It was uh, uh, downs. I yeah. knew I only had the four downs. So, you know, on that last play was third down. We would have had one more down. I could have got one more down in there. And uh, – Unfortunately, instead of them looking when they were going to look to see if it was a touchdown, the clock should have stopped, but they didn't do that. The clock kept running, and that killed it. Put a six seconds down. I only have one play left, and I ain't gonna say it's the best call. I know that, and uh, and our kids, you know, they 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 ran ran it to the best of their ability on that because I, I didn't want to hit that fr- hit up that gut again because I thought we were just lucky to get the last one we got. So. Anyway, just one of those things, and I mean, it was offensively. You, you came into the game, said they needed to be lights out. You know, a couple turnovers obviously hurt as well, and I mean, there's yeah. various reasons for that. But yeah. um, you know, I, there's a lot of things we can look back at the game, and, and we're not playing the second guessing part of it. You guys move on. You get Valley this week, absolutely, and you know, it's it's about getting back on track. And it's one of those things. You know, you play a tough team early in the season, even if you guys you know fall. You've got a bunch of games coming up where you can get it all. You know, turn back the way. Oh, that you absolutely. Wanted to. You know, we we got some tough games coming up. You know, yeah. Valley, they've they've lost two games in a row, but man, they've lost to Volcano and Sandia. They're both those teams are pretty darn salty. Um, I think they're learning a new system right now. They're coming into what they're um, uh, into their new coaching style with co- um, with the Judge, and um, they're going to be re- they're going to be ready to play football. I know that. The one thing I can say, the first game they played Volcano, they got kind of they got it put to them a little bit there against Volcano, but. Them kids never quit playing, and I, that impressed me. I tell you, it says a lot about character of your kids, and they played right to the end, you know. And same thing with Sandia. Sandia punched it in with, with time expiring right there, and uh, they fought right to the end. Um, so yeah, they they got kids that play hard. We're definitely gonna have to come out and play f- play good football. To, um, yeah, Friday. So. Mm-hmm. Defensively, I mean, is this going to be a spread team that you see this week? Or yeah, no, both, both. They, they'll, they'll, they'll line up. They'll run. Um, they'll run I and, and and they'll run some option and they'll run a lot of leads and stuff like that and ISOs. And uh, but they 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 run. Yeah, they'll go four wide, three. Yeah, trips. They run a lot of trips and stuff. They they spread the ball out. That's for sure. I think that's their. I think that you know, going in as a coach, you, they're looking at what t- what they have and what they've been doing for the last forever. They, there, they've been spreading it, and that's kind of talent they had. So they, you know good coaching they're going to take advantage of what they have and uh so what do you want to see better from your offense this week turnovers you know we we, we just we can't ever have that we can't have them picks and, and um yeah i could go i could go on for 20 minutes of why those happened and um and our kids know um we just got to make sure that that doesn't happen and uh not not turn over those ball that, about that ball and especially turn over inside our own red zone or going into the 
into the end zone or red zone. So those red areas, we got we got to be really careful with the ball. Um, I'm, just, well, I'm I'm excited to see what our O line does um, because will we that that you know that 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 front six for Los Lunas is pretty salty and uh, our guys you know we, we we did a lot of film a lot of um wasn't pleasant film and so we'll see we'll see what happens yeah yeah um and, and I I guess uh, injury wise everything pretty solid yeah this week or yeah we we have a few. We have a few, but you guys will see that come Friday night. Yeah, we have a few, but we'll we move some people around. There's some people going to be playing in some different positions, and uh, we'll see how it works. You know, I, I ain't going to say those kids are going to be 100% in those positions, but I do think that the team that we'll put on the field right now, I think this will be the, probably the team that hopefully we play for a title, and, you know, for a district championship and, a, and, and hopefully a state championship because – I think we got the right personnel in the positions, and I hopefully they'll keep growing throughout the year. Because that game, yeah, we lost the game because you know we didn't get it finished, so we, it goes down as a loss. But that's not that's not going to change from our goals. Our goal is to win a district title and to win a state championship. Period. And my whole point is we've got to finish strong. We have to finish strong, and um, I'm not going to stop believing that and making sure our young kids. Because we have some young kids that right now they only have. Well, not even eight, seven quarters of varsity experience. There's quite a few of them on our field right now. And you think about it, seven quarters of varsity football. That's it. And so as the year goes on, I think those kids are going to get better and keep getting better and keep getting better. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited about to see what – yeah, you're going you're gonna to be kind of – yeah, I, you'll, you'll see them all night. You're going to be excited to see the changes we've made and, and where we made some changes. Uh, we got homecoming tomorrow night, and obviously there was a lot of excitement around that. I do want to mention one thing from last week, and I think we've seen a lot of it on social media and other various places. And you know, worth being proud of your your, your kids and the football program. And and of course, you know, last Friday was such a tough day for our community, but the uh, you know the, the kids really you know came out and showed some great respect to Officer Corvinus. And ah uh, man, it was anyone that was there. I mean, there was yeah, it. it it obviously brought tears to your eye. It uh, it was it was a very emotional day. It was emotional um, pregame speech, um, and then when we get out there to our tunnel and you see the um, chief of police and other officers sitting out there and saluting our boys as they came out, man, just it's amazing. And and you know we're we're praying we're praying for them and their family. And uh, it's just it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing for any community. And uh, but it happened in our community, and, and it just makes it that much tougher. And uh, I know Valley has something they're going to they're they're going to do when they come down here too, because it's they 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 called right away. And and how sad it's amazing. All a lot of the state coaches called and. Yeah, it's yeah. We we love our officers. We love our officers. Um, I had a I had a message, just random message on my on, on our on my little Facebook thing, and it was uh, a gentleman out of Boston, and it made it all the way. Our picture made it all the way over there, and I guess it was over there in their um, their little news cycle thing, and, and just wanted to say how much they appreciated the, you know the support and stuff like that, and. Because, you know, you, it, I mean, crap, that, I think that pitcher has gotten over 10,000-some hits right now, and, and hopefully it keeps going because, you know, we're not – we are. We love our – we love our all our people. And uh, the officers, um, yeah, all the people that serve our community, we love them. Yeah, definitely appreciate them a ton. All right, Coach, I know you're out of time. We will uh, we'll talk to you uh, coming up next week. Yeah, so I'm looking time. forward. To, I hope I, – I, I really asking our community to come out and support our boys tonight um, – tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow and uh, – I uh, I think it'll be a special time. I, our our kids are hungry, and uh, we definitely want to get back on our winning ways. And um, we've had some pretty good practice this week. We'll see what happens. All right, thanks, so, coach. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You.